Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. Guys, the local development server is generally available now and trust me, it is still the second most talked about thing among the developers. Of course, AI is still the number one. I had created a video earlier as well where I showed you the features of it and how it is going to work in your Salesforce Lightning application. In this video, guys, I'll show you how you can connect your mobile emulator or simulator with it and how you can see the live result as per your mobile devices. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys, let's start today's video. Uh, so in my previous video, guys, uh, I had shown you how it is going to work with your salesforce environment with your lightning application so this was my previous blog i'll be taking the similar example to run it in the mobile emulator or simulator as well so for that i have created a scratch or guys which is just having a component i haven't even enabled the lightning local development server yet so if this is the first time when you're watching any video related to the local development server then uh, this is going to be your go-to video to understand the installation step and the overall functionality of it okay so i'll quickly open my vs code this is my vs code and uh, here if you will see this is my component which is password validation i'm having a lightning web component here which i have added here as well in this application which is salesforce bolt okay and here the component will be responsible to show the errors based on the generated message based on the type input for example it is showing a lower case letter is required if i am going to type a lowercase you can see the right mark here okay and uh, i am choosing this component because this component is having a good part of html javascript and css also in it so it would be it could be a good example of uh, this lightning local development server okay so in this video as i'm using mac i'll be able to use the ios emulators only so to do that you need to install this X code. Uh, you can download it from your app store and simply install it. This is going to give you an iPhone simulator based on the selected device on your screen and you will be able to test the code uh, live with this local development server. Okay. And while you're installing it, uh, once it is downloaded and installed, after that there will be an option to install the OS as well. So for this demo, I have selected the iOS 18, uh, which is going to be part of the demo while I'll be selecting the mobile device. Okay, so make sure to install iOS also uh, with this X code. And uh, in the similar manner, for Android devices, it is going to be the Android Studio. Okay, now I'll show you how you can install the Lightning Local Development Server, guys. So for that, so this is a scratch or in your scratch or you can simply go to setup and search for local dev and here you need to turn it on first okay so i have turned it on then as a next step what you can do is i'll be having all these details uh, on a blog as well where you can simply follow the step as of now i am following the steps from my previous blog where i have enabled a dev org i have created a scratch org and now i'll be installing the local development plugin here so this is the command for that guys I'll open my VS code, go to terminal. And this is the command. I'll hit enter. Okay. It is being installed here and it is done. All right. So the local development uh server is installed now and uh, there's another change that you need to do is you need to add this attribute uh and set the value as true in your uh, project scratch definition dot json okay so i'll be just copying this attribute name from here i'll go to my config folder here's my project definition file I will add a comma here, new value, and make it true. Okay. 
now the scratch org is uh, ready to use the lightning local development server okay so in my current environment i have already installed the x code so while i'm going to run this command which is responsible to start the local development server it is going to give me the option to choose the device even though if it is not installed it will be providing the options now in the beta version if you have seen my previous video i'll be leaving the video link in the description of this uh, video as well so if you will notice on that video while we were trying to run this command it was directly opening up the default application and scratch out right but now here if you will notice if i'll run this command which is sf lightning dev app so it is going to give us the options whether we would like to add it for mobile device desktop or ios okay so in my case i'm going to select let's say desktop okay now it is going to give you option to choose the application also which you are going to run in this local development server previously this option was also not there so for this demo i'll be using the salesforce fold application now it is going to open the scratch arc here it has opened the application guys and uh, here you can see the component okay and now here you can see the notification as well that the local development server is on okay now if i'll go to my visual studio and uh, let's say if i'm going to html and here i want to change the text of a button okay so i'll quickly squeeze this uh, screen a little so you can see the live demo okay now here if you will see on the right side we are having the output and on the left we are having the code okay now here on the left pane if you will see i'm going to change the label here so it says enter your password you can see enter your password here on the right as well now i will do enter your password here okay so it is not reflecting yet on the right side because it is not saved now i'll be clicking on command s to save this and on the right side you can see the text has been changed let me try to remove it again and hit save and you can see the text is reflecting in the similar way here as well so that's how this local development server work guys uh, you must have noticed the same thing in the last video as well now let me show you how you can use it in your mobile emulator how it is going to be there okay so for that i will run the command again okay now i will be running the same command but this time i will be selecting my mobile ios now it is going to ask about the application so i'm selecting salesforce bolt and now it is going to first it will be checking if the emulators are installed already so here you can see it is mac os and uh, it was checking for x code which is installed already okay now from here i can select the device as well in which i want to preview it so let's say for this demo it is having all the latest ios enabled device so let's say i'm selecting this iphone se third generation okay which is again running on ios 18.2 i'll hit enter here and it is going to start the emulator which will be having the iphone se there okay it is done you can see the emulator is here guys so this is the emulator and as of now it is not having the salesforce app installed in it so there is the option it is asking us whether we want to install the salesforce app which is needed to see the output so i will just type yes now it will be downloading the salesforce application and it will be installing it here okay okay it is being installed and yes you can see it here now to run it in the salesforce application you will need your scratch org url uh, username and password of course okay let's wait for the home screen to load first okay let's do i accept now it will be loading the 
okay now this is your application now to log in in it first we need the id password of the scratch org and i don't remember the command so i'll do generate password okay this is the command to generate a new password for my scratch org i'll quickly copy it from here and uh, paste it in the terminal okay it has generated a password now i will do sf or display which is going to display my username password and url as well okay here you go so this is the instance url i'm having here so i'll quickly copy it from here and in my emulator i'll be using a custom domain Okay. This is my custom domain here. I'll hit continue. Meanwhile, I'll copy the username from here. And the username will go here, paste. Okay. And in the similar manner, I'll be copying the password also. And the password goes here. Okay, now it has sent a verification email. Uh, now let me quickly check on my mailbox. Okay, I have copied the verification code. Now I'll go back. Okay, I will be entering the verification code now. Paste, verify, we'll hit allow. Okay, the default page is loaded here, which is uh, the Salesforce portal application. Now let's try to do the same change here as well, guys. Okay, so the label is enter your password. Now I will do here and uh, I will hit save. So you can see the changes are being reflecting here also very quickly. If you see here, the changes are being reflecting here. Now, if I'll remove it and if I'll do save, it is being removed from here as well, right? And if you will see, if I'm entering any change here, it is being reflected here. But now, if you will notice your environment, it won't be reflecting there because uh, at a time you can only enable the local development server for one of the device. Either it can be your Salesforce environment or it can be your mobile device emulators. Okay, so that's why it is not working there. Now, let me show you how you can open, like how you can test it in different, different devices. So for that, let me quickly save it first. You just need to run the command again, which is this. Okay, you can select different devices and even different models of the operating system. For example, in iOS, I want to use a different model. Let's say I want to use iPhone 16 plus now, okay. So it has opened the iPhone 16 plus emulator here. All right, the Salesforce application was already installed. Now it will try to open the application. Okay, let's wait for it to load the home page. It may be asking for username password again. Okay, it is asking for username password. Let me use a custom domain. And now, where did my username password go? I think I need to open it again. Just give me a second. Okay, here it is. I'll quickly copy the instance first, which is this one. Paste it here. Okay. 
continue now i will copy the username paste in emulator okay in the similar way i'll be copying the password here's the password and i will paste it here in the password column okay let's log in now and it should be opening the application directly the salesforce world application all right it is loading the home page now and uh, here you go so this is the application guys now let's try to make some changes again i'll remove this uh, here okay the changes are not being reflecting here guys let's try this way okay sometimes it is not working in the first go so for that you, if you are also having the similar issue what you can do is you can simply close the emulator and uh, try to open it again make sure to choose the same device again okay so application now device was iphone 16 plus and this time it should not be asking for the username password because we did login last time okay and it will be opening the salesforce application and it should direct redirect us to the home page of the salesforce world application all right it's loading okay it is here uh, you can see the latest change also let me try to remove it and now you can see the changes are reflecting here immediately let's okay let's try to add variants here so success here is the success destructive destructive is here and uh, there was another variant i believe brand okay so that's how you can use the lightning local development server with your mobile emulator or simulator so this was an example of uh, ios uh, if you are using Android, you need to download and install Android Studio for that. I may be creating another video for Android Studio, but uh, that's how it is going to be. Okay, now to download the Xcode and Android Studio, I'll be sharing the link in the description of this video. I'll be having it on my blog as well. And also I'll be having this component on my GitHub repo. So if you need any of these component, you can simply go to my GitHub, which is this one and uh, simply you can move to the repository i'll be sharing the link in the description of this video so that it is for today guys i hope you like today's video if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching